Let's get the final thoughts from Ryan and Sarah. Thanks a lot, Chris. Well, Sarah, so much to unpack from this game. Incredible effort for the Nets to get back in it, take the lead, then back and forth. But a lot of those little things, careless turnovers, really proving to be the difference in why the Nets end up losing this game. And this is an opportunity to learn from what you want to see is how a team responds and reacts in closing time. Credit to the Nets for coming back from that sizable deficit. But more than anything, it was about taking care of the basketball, attention to detail, focusing on those little things. And for the Nets, I think they'll go back and look at the stretch of areas. We know that they were shorthanded. We know that they were down ball handlers. Karis LeVert really the only guy um, that serves as a point guard that we saw on the floor. However, it was trouble getting into sets. It was some of those careless turnovers and miscues that you'd like to have back. So overall, I think there was a variety of things in those final few minutes they're going to want to take a look at once again. No doubt we have seen Karis LeVert find his footing over these last few games, Sarah. He was was sensational tonight and certainly the biggest bright spot in an otherwise disappointing loss. What I love that we continue to see out of Karis LeVert, the numbers are special, but more of it is just the way in which he's going about getting them. Now, when he's excellent from the three-point line, it opens up his entire offensive game and changes the complexion of how he's able to attack, but I think it was the way in which he varied what he was doing on the offensive end because he was reading the defense, he was feeling out the game, and he understood when and how he should get rid of the ball to facilitate for his teammates. What a night for Karis LeVert. If there was a bright spot to take away from this loss, it's his continued growth and the responsibility that he's showing with the ball in his hands for this group. Now the Nets come right back to Brooklyn. They'll host the Thunder on Sunday. May have some stars back as well. So a, a chance to try and build off of what you did against Utah and Philly rather than tonight and get those stars back in the fold. Yeah, and I think what the expectation is, is can we get back that energy for Steve Nash and this group as he asks of his team to make sure that they're coming with that type of focus, coming with the same sense of continuity and chemistry that they're looking to build when you reintegrate potentially some of these players back into the lineup. So it, it's another test. It's another challenge an opportunity uh, for them to improve. It's still early here in the season, but I think what they're trying to get is the opportunity to get back in the win column, and we saw a little bit of that now, but for the Nets to regroup and try and learn from some of the mistakes that they experienced this evening. All right, they'll have that chance on Sunday as we send it back to